Well, hello, my loves, and happy Sunday to you. Uh, super excited to share this project that I have in my head with you today um, and share a little bit of some thoughts about it as well. Um, but I want to sh- I want to go over what I've done so far. But first, before I do that, I just want to let you know that um, there are several ways that you can connect and create. Um, there is um, gratitude junk journal, which the early bird pricing is going to be closing down fairly soon by the time you see this video. Creative stretch. Um, it's a I did an interview with the creators of Creative Creative Stretch. Plus, they have a journaling program that goes with it, and they have um, online retreat. And you can choose one is you know just the interviews or um, zero dollars, and then on up from there. So there's a lot of opportunities for you to create at different price points that fit your budget, and that's kind of why I offer them. I know there's a lot that I'm I have offered, um, and that I'm involved in. But as every, everybody's got a different personality and each one fits, you know, someone differently and, and budget wise too. And then also, um, just to let you know that you can still sign up for Wanderlust 2023 as well. So, um, I'll have all of those links and information in the blog post. And the link to the blog post is down below in the YouTube description box. That link will also bring you to the supplies as well. Um, so that's down below, right down below the YouTube description box. And then also, if you're watching this video and you like the video and you haven't subscribed, I sure would appreciate that um, so that you get notified when I do a new video, which is every week. And that just helps me keep doing the videos. Okay, so... And then um, the stencils that I use today will be on sale. The fall stencil sale is over. Um, and now we're just doing individual stencils like I normally do each week. Okay. All that out and done. And the dog is barking and there's a lawnmower going. So there's just lots going on around here. <laughs> um, but let's take a look at the project. So what I've done so far is I'm creating on a 12 by 12 uh, birch wood panel and um, I got the panel from Michaels and they're really really reasonable so if you want a nice um, economical option you can find it there especially if you got a 40% off coupon. Okay so then I put papers down that were just random things that I had left over, put them down with my Liquitex fluid matte medium. And then I put out at the, on the top, I put out, um, some, I brayered out some paint and, um, I used cerulean blue hue, uh, Nova colors, Payne's gray, and some gesso for the top. And then I just layered that back and forth and gessoed it out. And then I sprayed it with um, alcohol and came back with a piece of copy paper and picked that back up so that I could get this kind of real rough textured look. And then for the bottom, I did basically the same technique. I used burnt sienna, um, let's see, raw sienna, raw umber, and uh, matte black. And some are some are gouache and some are just regular um paints uh from golden and i'll again have all the supplies listed for you so that's what i've done so far and then i'm going to come back and create i'm going to put a barn on here and tree and maybe some some other details in here but i want it to be really kind of grungy and a little not so perfect and expected so i'm not exactly sure how that's going to look yet and i have I have my large barn stencil that I know I'm going to use. And then I have my large tree stencil, and but I'm not sure I'm going to use it yet because I don't want, I want it to be kind of unexpected. So I'm not sure yet. I have to kind of think about that. Then I have my uh, numbers stencil, and I don't know the name of this one, but I thought I wanted maybe to put some numbers in some random spots, just again for that kind of grungy, unexpected feel. I don't want it to be a typical barn seam. 
or too typical, I should say, kind of in my own style. Um, and I th that's all I really know at this point. Um, I may possibly use, of course, charcoal pencil, um, soft pastels or soft pastel pencils. That's kind of all I know at this point. Okay, um, that panel, I, I don't know if I said it was a 12 by 12 uh, panel. So um, that's kind of what I have planned for th uh, this Sunday inspiration. Now, I want to, um, I just want to read you something. So last week, if you haven't seen last week's video, um, you can check that out. But last week, I was... I was at a point where I was just really tired and I had been on deadline, deadline after deadline. And so I take you on a journey around my um, little community here um, of all the fall splendor. And um, just really for about two and a half hours, just paused everything and just absorbed everything and was in the moment. And... Um, as I was reading this week in um, All Along You Were Blooming by Morgan Harper Nichols, one of my favorites, it's it's so, it's almost worn out because I, I read it almost every day. But um, a couple days after after that kind of, of adventure around our wonderful neighborhood and looking at all of the fall splendor, I read this and I was like, it's so perfect. So I'm going to use part of this, I think, as a quote in my piece today, but it says, living in the moment is learning how to live between the big moments. I thought, yeah, it's like pausing on the big moments where we've done the big moments. Now, what do we do in the in-between? We are present somewhere in there. We, we take a moment to be present in the smallest of things. It's learning how to make the most of the in-betweens and having the audacity to make those moments just as exciting. And so I want to have that audacity to make my everyday moments um, big moments, to, to cherish them the same, to get excited about them the same. And I'm really, really working on that. And part of that is being present. And part of that, for me anyway, is, is taking time and um, stepping away from, from all of the work that I have to do and be um, present elsewhere. I mean, even here, though, even in the creating, I can be present and um have joy in that and in that in being present and and having the audacity to make those moments count um brings me joy brings me peace so all i want to do all i want to say today is i hope you have the audacity i love that word have the audacity to make the in between moments that are not big that are not grand that are not anything special, everyday moments. Make them amazing. Be present in them and cherish them as much as you would the big moments. Have the audacity to do that today. All right, my loves, I'm going to get creating and finish this up. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday, and I hope that you know that you are loved.
Thank you.